हेलो वीवर्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज़ अ सेकंड वीडियो इन दी केस एंड मैथमेटिकल साइंसेस प्रॉब्लम सॉल्यूशन आई गिव दी ट्रिक्स टू सॉल्व दी केस एंड क्वेश्चंस आस्कड इन प्रीवियस इयर्स पेपर्स दिस इज़ द क्वेश्चन आस्कड इन केस एंड मैथमेटिकल साइंसेस द वैल्यू ऑफ लिमिट एन टेंस टू इनफिन थ्री फोर ऑफ एन प्लस फाइव फोर ऑफ एन प्लस सेवन फोर ऑफ एन वोल पॉर ऑफ वन बाई एन इज दे आस्क द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस लिमिट ऑप्शन ए इज थ्री एंड ऑप्शन बी इज फाइव एंड ऑप्शन सी इज सेवन एंड ऑप्शन डी इज थ्री कम सेवन कम फाइव देन यू हैव टू फाइंड दी वैल्यू ऑफ दिस लिमिट दे आर सेवरल मेथड्स टू सॉल्व दिस लाइक लिमिट्स बट आई गिव द simple trick to solve this uh, these like problems within one minute the trick is if limit n tends to infinity a power of n plus b power of n plus c power of n on so on plus z power of n then this is equal to maximum of a comma b comma c on so on this is the trick अप्लाई दी सेम ट्रिक टू दिस क्वेश्चन सॉरी दिस इज ओल्ड पोर वन बाय एन दिस दिस इन द फॉर्म देन दिस इज द ट्रिक मैक्सिम ए कम बी कम से आंसर वन जेड देर फोर लिमिट एन टेन्स टू इनफिनिटी थ्री फोर ऑफ एन प्लस फाइव फोर ऑफ एन प्लस सेवन फोर ऑफ एन ओल्ड पोर ऑफ वन बाय एन देन मैक्सिम ऑफ थ्री कम ऑफ फाइव कम सेवन दिस इक्वल टू इन अमाउंट दिस मैक्सिम इज सेवन देर फोर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज सेवन This is the one of the trick. Then uh, this is the second question. This is the question asked in case eight. Limit tends to infinity n by n factorial whole power of one by n. Uh, option A is one. Option B is zero. And option C is plus infinity. Option D is e. I give the trick to solve these like problems. When you see the in the limit in the problems of limit. Uh, when you see the n factorial, then we substitute direct result. That is, n factorial is equal to n four up n e four up minus n. This is the result. Apply this result. Uh, limit n tends to infinity. In place of n factorial, we substitute this n power of n into e four up minus n whole power of one by n. This is equal to limit n tends to infinity n by uh, n under uh, this n get cancelled. We get n and e four up minus one. This n this get and uh, get cancelled. We go to numerator. We get E as the answer. Therefore, the correct option is D. And uh, this is the third problem. Limit n tends to infinity one by n, one by two plus two by three plus uh, and so on plus n by n plus one. Uh, this equal to A option A is zero and option B is infinity and option C is one. Option option D is limit does not exist. We know that by Cauchy First theorem on limits. Cauchy first theorem on limits. That is limit n tends to infinity one by n a one plus a two plus and so one plus a n. If sum of arithmetic mean, this gives this equal to limit. This equal to any um limit that is l any finite value that is l then. Limit n tends to infinity. A n is equal to same as this is equal to L. If you find the limit of this L, then uh, limit n tends to infinity. A n is equal to L. Otherwise, sorry. If you find the limit n tends to infinity, a n is equal to L. If you find the limit of this n term of the uh, given limit, then this limit uh, is also equal to Limit n tends to infinity one by n a n plus a a two plus and so on plus a n is equal to l. Therefore, uh, here uh, this is n no a one a two plus and so on. This is a n. Therefore, the a n term is n by n plus one. Therefore, apply the limit. Limit n tends to infinity a n is equal to limit n tends to infinity n by we take n as common n into one plus one by n. This n n get cancel. Uh, applying limit, this becomes zero. Then we we have to get the values one. Therefore, the correct option is option C. And this is the problem. If uh, a is greater than zero, then integration zero to infinity log x by x square plus a square dx is equal to. This is the improper integral. 
proper integral now uh, this is the options option a is pi log a by 2a and option b is pi by 2 log a and option c is equal to pi by a log a and option d is equal to pi and log a therefore solution is i is equal to integration of 0 to infinity log x by x square plus a square now uh, you directly substitute in place of x we take as a in tan x because we know that um, trigonometric properties that is uh, secant square x minus tan square x is equal to 1 then secant square x is equal to 1 plus tan square x like that we will take x as a tan x then we take a square as common then we we get this form that's why we taken as x is equal to a tan x therefore i is equal to we differentiate this function dx is equal to a secant square x sorry we take uh, a tan theta uh, a secant square theta under d theta we change the limits also if we take x as 0 then we get theta also 0 and we take um, x as infinity then we get theta as 5 by 2 therefore limits also change i is equal to integration 0 to pi by 2 log of x values a tan theta and um, x square as a square tan square theta plus a square dx is a secant square theta d theta then i is equal to integration 0 to pi by 2 log of a tan theta by take a, a square as common we get tan square theta plus 1 and a secant square theta d theta according to trigonometric property secant square theta is equal to 1 plus tan square theta that is in place of tan square theta plus 1 we substitute secant square theta i is equal to integration 0 to pi by 2 this one this a this uh, cancel we get 1 by a log of a tan theta by secant square theta into secant square theta d theta this this get cancelled we get i is equal to in 1 by a 1 by a is constant then take 1 by a is outside integration of 0 to pi by 2 log of a tan theta d theta uh, we know that one of the property definite integral property that is um, integration of 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integration of 0 to a f of a minus x dx this is the one of the most important property and another property also there that is king's property is a integration a to b f of x dx is equal to integration of a to b f of a plus b minus x dx in place of um, here a we taken 0 and in place of b or a there this uh, prop both properties are same we apply any one property we get same answer i is equal to 1 by a we apply the property uh, this property we get integration of 0 to pi by 2 on log of a tan pi by 2 minus theta d theta this take as equation number 1 and i is equal to 1 by a integration 0 to pi by 2 log of a into we know that log 90 minus theta as cot theta then this take as equation number 2 equation number 2 then add uh, equation number 1 and equation number 2 we get that is i is equal to 1 by a 2a is equal to 1 by a integration 0 to pi by 2 log of log of a tan theta plus 1 by a integration of 0 to pi by 2 log of a cot theta d theta then 1 by a 2a is equal to 1 by a integration 0 to pi by 2 we take common then log of a tan theta plus log of a cot theta d theta we know that from logarithmic property log of a plus log of b is equal to log of a b this is the most important property of logarithmic we are applying this property i is equal to 1 by 2a we take 2 as denominator we get 1 by 2a integral 0 to pi by 2 on log of applying the property of logarithmic we get a tan theta into a cot theta d theta then 1 by 2a integration 0 to pi by 2 log of a square tan written as sin theta by 
cos theta and cot written as cot cos theta by sin theta then cos cos get cancelled and sin sin get cancelled we get 1 by 2a into integration of 0 to pi by 2 log of a square d theta then log of a square as a constant uh, we take outside log a square by 2a and integration of theta is theta uh, applying limits 0 to 2 pi then i is equal to we again we know that logarithmic property that is log of m4 of n is equal to n into n into log of m uh, applying this property here we get 2 log a by 2a into 2 sorry this is pi by 2 this is pi by 2 pi by 2 then 2 to get cancelled we get pi this equal to pi into log a by 2a this is the required answer therefore the correct option is option a is the correct option pi log a by 2a we move on the another pro problem uh, this is the problem the extremal for the functional um, question integral a to b 12 x y plus y dash whole square dx is given by this is the four options this is the very simple problem of a calculus of variation um, we know that in the question x y y dash all are given then we directly apply the Euler's equation that is uh, do f by do y minus d d by dx of do f by do y dash is equal to 0 this is the equation of Euler's equation this equation is also called as uh, Euler's Lagrange equation in we have to find the extremal of the function uh, we, we uh, in the in this in this uh, integral um, this is the function f f is equal to 12 x y plus y dash whole square then um, partially differentiate with respect to y this function do f by do y is equal to 12 x then this uh, 0 and uh, do f by do y dash is equal to 2 y dash uh, we substitute these values in this equation 12 x minus d y dx of 2 y dash is equal to 0 then 12 x minus differentiate uh, with respect to x we get 2 y double dash is equal to 0 then 12 x is equal to 2 y double dash now integrate on both sides 2 1 2 6 za integrate on both sides we get y dash is equal to 6 x square by 2 plus c1 uh, we again integrate 2 1 za 2 3 za then we again integrate uh, uh, we get y is equal to 3 x cube by 3 plus c1 of x plus c2 then y is equal to 3 3 get cancel x cube plus c1 x plus c2 this is the required answer uh, then we check the options option a is y of x is equal to x cube plus c1 x plus c2 compare this x cube plus c1 x plus c2 therefore this is the correct option this is the problem asked in case at mathematical sciences if f of x is equal to x log 1 plus x inverse and x belongs to 0 to infinity open interval 0 to infinity then limit extends to 0 f of x and limit extends to infinity f of x are respectively equal these are the four options now we have to find the values of these limits uh, therefore solution limit extends to 0 f of x is equal to limit extends to 0 f of x value is x into log of 1 plus x inverse means 1 by x then we first uh, for the values of x we get uh, 0 into log of 1 plus 1 by 0 then 0 into log of we know that uh, that is a uh, 0 into anything 0 into log of infinity we get like this that is we know that um, 0 into anything we get again 0 only then we find the limit extends to 0 f of x is equal to sorry extends to infinity limit extends to infinity f of x uh, sorry uh, 0 into 0 into in, we get 0 into infinity this is the indeterminate form we write down infinity as 0 into 1 by 0 also that then we get 0 by 0 form therefore this is written like this limit extends to 0 log of 1 plus 1 by x by 1 by 
x then we get infinity by infinity form of then different uh, we apply the last petal rule now when we get 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity form so then we directly apply last petal rule uh, differentiate separate, uh, separately numerator and denominator uh, we differentiate this we get 1 plus 1 by x into minus 1 by x square and the differentiation of this minus 1 by x square this this get cancelled we apply the limit 1 by 1 plus 1 by 0 this is infinity then 1 by infinity value 0 and uh, limit uh, li limit extends to infinity f of x and limit extends to infinity f of x value is x into log of 1 plus 1 by x we get infinity 0 again infinity into we apply the limit directly infinity into log 1 1 by infinity 0 then infinity into 0 we again get the 0 into infinity form then we solve then we get again infinity into 0 form then limit extends to infinity and log of 1 plus 1 by x by 1 by x uh, now we apply the last petal rule we get limit extends to infinity 1 by 1 plus 1 by x into minus 1 by x square by minus 1 by x square this this get cancelled we apply the limit uh, 1 by 1 plus 0 this is 1 we get uh, values as 0 comma 1 uh, therefore the correct option is option c is the correct option thanks for watching if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel thanks